Hello everyone, welcome back to Perfect English with me, Alex. In this week's video, I'm going to go through some more commonly confused words. Let's take a look at them now. And the words I want to teach you how to use in this video are pronouns. He, she, his, hers, hers, his. All of these words and the different ways they are used. They are all used in the third person and they have simple rules but people do get very confused with them because the placement of the words makes a big difference. So let's take a look at how to use them in this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Hit the bell to be notified of a new English lesson every single week. First things first, let's take a look at subject pronouns. He or she. These different pronouns are used depending on if the person we are speaking about is a boy or a girl, a man or a woman. So if the subject, the person in the sentence we are talking about is a boy, use he. If it's a girl, use she. For example, she is wearing a blue dress. The subject of this sentence is a girl. She. There's a girl over there. She is wearing a blue dress. And a lot of people will say things like, the girl is wearing a blue dress. But I can see it's a girl. You don't need to tell me. You can say she. She is wearing a blue dress. And the same applies with boys. If a boy or a man is the subject of the sentence, use he. He looks very happy today. And I'm talking about a boy in the third person. So I use he. He is the subject of my sentence. So we use the subject pronoun he. And a couple of other examples could be, he is running very fast. She has taken a long time to get here. Both are different subjects. One is a boy, one is a girl. So we use he or she. Next up, we have object pronouns, him or her. So before we had subject, the person we are talking about. Now we have the object. So before we looked at the subject, of the sentence. Now let's look at the object. So the object is the person receiving an action or a noun or anything. They are receiving something. So an example of these object pronouns. I am going to give this book to him. So I am the subject, but there is a second person in this sentence, an object. And the object is receiving something. He's receiving a book. So because the boy is an object in this sentence, we use him. I'm going to give this book to him. He's going to receive the book. And for boys, him. But if it was a girl, we use her. I am going to give this book to her. So for boys, him, girls, her. Some other examples could be, I'm going to give this pizza to her. She is the object. I'm going to give it to her. She's going to receive the pizza. I want to go and see him tomorrow. This time the object is not receiving a physical thing. It's receiving an action. Me going to see him. I'm going to see him tomorrow. So the most important thing to remember, two things in a sentence. The subject, who we are talking about, and the object, who is receiving something. Who is going to receive? For subjects, he and she. For objects, him and her. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button. But let's move on to possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So now we have some other pronouns to look at. Let's take a look at talking about possession. 
We have possessive adjective pronouns for boys, his, for girls, hers, and just regular possessive pronouns for girls, her, for boys, his again. All of these pronouns refer to the owner of something. They have possession of the object. They are the owner. And the only difference between these pronouns is the possessive adjectives come after the noun or the object. So his or hers come after the object, after the noun. For example, this is her book. This book is hers. So in this example, the object, the noun is the book. And if we put the pronoun after, we use hers. This book is hers. If we put it before, we use her. This is her book. And the good thing is, when we talk about boys, this word is the same. It doesn't matter. Both words are his. This is his car. This car is his. It doesn't matter with boys because both words are his. The only difference is with girls. We use her or hers. This is her car. This car is hers. So now we've been through the differences and the ways to use these pronouns. Let's practice together. I'm going to put a sentence here and I want you to fill in the missing word. He, she, her, hers, his. Which word goes in these sentences? So for the first two questions, they are about girls. So she, her or hers. Which word goes in this sentence? She has left keys at my house. She has left keys at my house. So which word goes in this gap? She, her or hers. Think about is it before the noun or after the noun? Well done if you said her, it's before the noun, so we use her, not hers. She has left her keys at my house. Very well done if you got that one. Number two, I need to go to the shop to buy a cake for, I need to go to the shop to buy a cake for, which word goes in this sentence? Have a think for a few seconds. Which word? The girl is the object of the sentence. So we use her, the object pronoun her. I need to go to the shop and buy a cake for her. Well done if you said her. Now let's take a look at some questions about boys. Which word goes in this sentence? Is always complaining about his job. Is always complaining about his job. Which word goes in this sentence? So it's a subject. Well done if you said he. He is always complaining about his job. Let's move on to question number four. Again, well done if you got that one right at home. Question number four. I think this car is, I think this car is, which word goes here? I think this car is. And well done if you said his, we are talking about possession. So with a boy, it doesn't matter where it is, we use his regardless. I think this car is his. And the last question of this video, he loves new house. He loves new house. Which word goes in this sentence? Remember, it's for a boy. 
and its possession again. So well done. If you said his, he loves his new house. Big well done if you got that right at home. So we have been through the grammar rules, some examples and some questions on using these pronouns. I hope this video has helped clear up any confusion you had. If it has, please head down, leave a like on this video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of a new video every single week. Head over to my Facebook and Instagram page at Perfect English Alex. I post daily content on there to help you improve your English. So head over and take a look now. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Thank you. Bye bye.